Alright guys, so this time I'm going to share a video again but it's different from other videos where I'm just checking the features, this time I'm going to make a video about some of the gameplay from this game. And more interestingly, this time I will play on a test server where this server is usually used by GM to test new features. Alright, without further ado, let's just find out what's on the test server. Okay, here I already have a character with a fairly high BP to try to conquer some bosses or others. But if you don't like MU Origin, which already has a lot of high BP players, you don't need to worry because this game will add another new server after the new year, so you can immediately compete to increase your BP on the new server. Here, I really didn't expect to get this message from the system that a Scarlet Castle or Bloody Castle can get diamonds, but I'll try later. And of course I will show you the best way to get diamonds from Scarlet Castle. Alright because this time I won't be discussing it like usual, now let's go ahead and try to kill the world boss and see what we get. But before that I will first use the diamonds in the inventory so that it will appear if I get diamonds later. Okay, everything is ready, now go straight to the world boss. Um, I think the boss is dead, let's try to find another boss. OMG what happened, the boss immediately disappeared. Oh by the way if you are after auto battle, you can get Moonry's mass bell which you can use in events. But even though this is an event item, you won't find the event menu, so you can use this item in the crafting menu and there you will be able to use the event item. By the way, this box doesn't show you a description you can get from it, so I'll craft some and show you what you can get from this box. And the items you get from this box are pretty good, I think you need to craft this box.
Oh by the way, now I'm at Devil Square and from here you have the opportunity to get Unbound Diamonds too. Right when talking about diamonds like this, so it reminds me that you can get diamonds from crafting too. You just have to go to the craft menu and there is a craft diamonds menu and just craft diamonds as you wish. And after you successfully craft them, you will immediately get diamonds in your inventory. Okay, so after you finish the Devil Square you don't get additional diamonds, you only get diamonds from killing the monsters inside the Devil Square. Next, we go to Crital Mine, here you can kill lots of bosses that have already been transferred here, but the HP of the boss here is really too high even with 200 million BP it's still quite difficult, I don't really know if there's something wrong or what. So I suggest that if you want to come here, you can wait for your BP to get really high or when there is a 2 times drop event, maybe the boss's HP will be less. Well, because none of the bosses were killed, I don't really know what you can get here. I forgot what to do, so I just want to show you the roulette menu here. Unfortunately here you cannot spin with bound diamonds but only with unbound diamonds. Even so, if you are very lucky you can get 40,000 unbound diamonds, even though luck is not an easy thing actually. I don't know it's already 9 o'clock, so I'll check the world boss again, who knows it's spawned right. How sad, still no boss is here. Because there is still no boss, so I will check the ancient battlefield. Maybe there is a boss who has been moved or can drop diamonds, because previously I made a video and when I checked the ancient battlefield there was a dungeon bosses that was moved. But it looks like there is no boss has been moved here, so wait, who knows if you can get unbound diamonds here.
Looks like I can't get diamonds from here. So I just want to check the other bosses who know there's still one. Oh how lucky I am, there is still a spawn boss. Let's see what he can give after being killed. Well, here I get 10,000 diamonds from kill one world boss, but because I'm not sure, then I will try to kill another boss whether it really got diamonds or just random. Well here the diamonds are added, so it's certain that every time you kill a world boss you will get 10,000 diamonds easily. Actually I want to try Bloody Castle, but because the event hasn't started yet, I want to tell you how to get the gift code to redeem. First you can go to the VIP menu and click the recharge menu. You are free to choose any recharge because you won't be asked to pay if you just click. After clicking recharge, you will be asked to log in on the web page. Here you just need to enter the username and password from your account in this game. Calm. This is not a phishing like what is circulating on many wild websites. After you log in you will find the GIF code menu easily and you just have to go there. And finally you will find a lot of gift codes that you can use depending on which server you want to redeem. Kingdom 2 means server 3 and Kingdom 1 for server 1. There is no gift code for server 2 because this server is only for testing, so there is no player on server 2. To copy it, you just need to click which code you want to use and it automatically copied. Okay, now the bloody castle is open, so just enter before the event closes. How do you get lots of diamonds from Bloody Castle? All you need to do is auto fight on the bridge and don't finish it right away. Because you can get the diamonds from tackling the monsters here and if you have only a minute time left, then you can continue to the next stage. Actually there is still a lot of time, but since I already showed you what you need to do inside the bloody castle, I just finished it. And after you finish, you will get an additional 1000 diamonds, so make sure you keep auto fighting on the bridge to maximize the diamonds you get then just finish it, then see you in the next video.